This is the Skip Twins podcast. Okay, hello and welcome. Um, thank you to... Was it Katie who sent that? You tell me. Yeah, I think it was Katie. I don't okay. have it up on my phone. It was on your phone. But yeah, thank you to Katie um, who sent that via email. That was weird. We got an email. Retro. Excited. That was cool. Um, but yeah, like you can do that too. You can send a little intro thingy that just says, this is the Skip Twins podcast. Um, yeah, you can do what Katie did and like change your voice if you want. But yeah. Um, so, welcome. Hello. Hope you're well. We're still alive. Yeah. Even after our week surviving on our own, which we've done the past, like, four years is what I realise. Yeah. Always around the same time. Yeah, parents go away on holiday, leave us behind. We but have to send for ourselves. This year we didn't get adopted by any families. Yeah. Our auntie or our friends or... Yeah. Just on our own. It was such a big, sort of, wobbly sigh. It's like you were going to cry. <laughs> I was going to cry. But yeah, normally in other years, like, we would go to our auntie's house or we would go to our friend's house and live there for a day or two just to sort of break things up let us let us be sociable see other people yeah but it's nice but like also we had cereal for dinner yeah it was good that's a lie we didn't no we were going to and then we were like no i want actual food though yeah we're growing up pretty good um but yeah welcome hope you're well if you're not well hope this makes your day a wee bit better Um, why do we have home alone written here because that was us being home alone. Oh, I thought you meant the film. Okay, well, yeah, we, we can rub that out because we talked about it. There you go. Sorted. Have you got yourself sorted now, too? Yeah, I'm all sorted. <laughs> I'm looking all happy. Feeling happy. <laughs> it's all good. Um, but yeah, we've, we have the first The first question we have is um, duck sized horses. This is also from Katie, horse. by the way. Katie okay. sent this and then. Yeah. Cheers, Katie's getting well involved. Thank, Thank you. you. But yeah, other people you should get involved too. Um, we don't know Katie, by the way. Yeah. She's not. We haven't bribed her, or she isn't a family member, yeah. or just a nice person. I don't know. She she could have tweeted us, Katie, if you're out there. Thank you. You could tweet us. Maybe you don't have Twitter, and that's why you emailed us. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, however um, you find us, then like, wow. Well. Um, um, but yeah, you can contact us with at skit dot twins at gmail dot com. Yeah, and at skit underscore twins so I'm right. so proud of you or on Instagram at skit underscore twins um, and on Facebook just I feel like you were trying twins. to say it wrong there and you didn't no just the wee look you gave me you were like well, I'm going to do it wrong this time <laughs> and then you didn't no that's okay I was trying to put it at the end I'll do it wrong probably okay um, but yeah and search skit twins on Facebook and I already said Facebook YouTube did you say YouTube I didn't say YouTube, but I said Facebook. I, I thought you. I thought I interrupted you. I thought I interrupted you. I interrupted you. So, okay. No more interrupting. Yeah. So go continue okay. what what you were saying. Um, duck-sized horses or horse-sized ducks. Oh right. Okay. See, right. I've been thinking about this because can ducks run fast? I think they can. Because I never looked it up. Because if ducks can run pretty fast, then they're gonna have like bigger legs, longer legs whenever they're like horse sized and could it run faster than a horse ducks kind of scare me yeah not as much as geese geese scare me more and swans swans are massive imagine yeah. they're already the size of a horse i don't know i think i'd rather have horses because i reckon they'd be pretty tame like duck sized horses yeah because then you could have it as like a dog yeah you could put I a would, baby on one i would much rather have duck sized horses you could put you could sell them to babies. Like, so babies could ride them. The ducks aren't that big. Depends what kind of duck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of ducks are there? Big ducks, small ducks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's lots of species of ducks. What about a horse size? What about duck billed platypuses? Does that count as a duck? No, because it's a duck billed platypus. But it's, it has duck in the name. It's a duck billed platypus. a Peking duck. It's a Peking duck. Like, what's it? Is that not like Chinese food? <laughs> what's the Peking out of? <laughs> but I was going to ask, um, horse-sized elephants or elephant-sized horses? I mean, they're both pretty big. I'd rather sure they not have either. Cause, okay, no, what, no, what, no, what, but no, but you know the, the old, like, plowing horses? They're yeah. about the size of, like, a small elephant. Yeah. I suppose you could say a They're horse massive. is the size of a small elephant. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what about duck-sized elephants or elephant-sized 
ducks. Oh, imagine that. I would definitely go for <gasps> baby tiny be elephants. so cute. Little be tiny cute elephants. elephants. Definitely. They would sound like we baby trumpets. <laughs> no, they would just sound like boop boop. <laughs> boop boop. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Be pure cute. Imagine that, imagine that, like, elephant-sized ducks quack. That would, like, bring a house down. Yeah. Because, like, they're loud enough, just, like, duck-sized. Duck-sized quacks are, like... Big. Big, loud. Big, loud. Big, loud ducks. <laughs> big, loud quacks. It's a big old quack. <laughs> <laughs> I love questions like that. Yeah. I I think I just think... I, I go to it... Like, I get too involved, too deep... I think too much. I overthink. Oh, got there eventually. Thank you. Um, Thank you. You know, you know dinosaurs. Uh huh. Which do you think would take it down? Which do you think could take on a dinosaur? A um, hundred duck-sized elephants, or one elephant-sized? No, ten elephant-sized ducks. Well, it depends what kind of dinosaur, Judith. Because if we're thinking okay, dinosaurs, okay, right. Uh, Diplodocus. What do they look like? I don't know. What. A stegosaurus, then. We know what they look like. Um, I'd say the, the, the elephant-sized ducks, because they could just work together and tip it over. So you think the ducks would do it? Yeah. See, I think the elephants. Why? The the duck-sized elephants. Because there's a hundred of them. And elephants... Stegosauruses were massive. They could crush a hundred of them Elephant with, like, one paw. Elephants never forget, so they would be able to, even if they did die their descendants would continue the battle. So they would eventually but if there was win only over time. Of them, they could fifty I mean, of technically, them. technically they've already won here because dinosaurs are extinct. Yeah. Well I suppose so are like elephant sized ducks. And fifty ducks of them things. would go off to battle and fifty of them would stay at home and like relay the message. Re reproduce and then continue the species and then go back to the And the stegosaurus could just bring his mates. I know but then they died, so <laughs> Elephants you know, still if it was exist, me, they whatever, just grew up. Whatever one I would pick, I would be like, don't go out to fight. Just wait it out. <laughs> that would be your... <laughs> just wait it out. Just wait another couple hundred years and just a meteor, for, meteor will come down and just... Do the um, work for you. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> there you go. Sorted. Done. Okay, so just, just bide ever, your time. If you, ever, if you ever need an answer for that question, there you go. Just bide your time. Meteor will do it. Yep. Fair enough. I can't. I can't see the wee board of topics there. Uh, next, you have getting getting drunk and freshers. Oh, right. This is this is sort of annoyed me because I think it's maybe just like because you're old. I'm old, and also I never really got into it at uni. Okay, please explain. I'm gonna see if anyone has messaged us on Twitter. But like freshers, whenever everybody goes out drinking and stuff, like every single night, and like I have loads of friends that are doing it, like people who are like final year and stuff. Now, you know what's weird? Ones that we, like, taught in, like, brownies or, like, it, and, like looked after and stuff, and then now suddenly they're 18 and they're out drinking and stuff, and you're like, no, oh, don't stop. <laughs> Go home and watch Barney. <laughs> Excuse me, where's Mr. Tiggles? You can't sleep without him. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, I don't know, I just, I think just it's social media that I don't like. Because, like, you go on to Snapchat in the mornings and it's just, like... 50 people have put up like stories of them out drinking and like they're not even good photos if you know what I mean like they're yeah, just like, blurry they're or blurry, like streaky with the lights or it's stuff. just like a big face shot where you can see like half an eye and a mouth <laughs> like up someone's nose <laughs> I, sort of, like, I hate the really like bright sweaty ones they're yeah. just like bright white faces just shining oh and then the time stamped ones at like half four in the morning bedtime <laughs> it's like Fab, you, you do your sleep deprived self. You've done that. You do that. Anytime you go to bed really late, you're like, bedtime, finally. You know, but it's not every night after I've been drinking. Like, <laughs> it's like lambing time whenever I've been out flipping, pulling the lamb out. And it's like, flip sick. But normally I sort of give a bit of context behind that, like, for goodness sake, this yo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I am a hypocrite, but I mean, I don't get drunk. I get drunk on the Lord. Hashtag yeah, Jesus, Jesus jams. jams. Would you like to explain that for anyone who doesn't follow um, you on Twitter? Yeah, so the past, well, last week and this week, on a Saturday night, when everybody's posting all the Snapchats about going out to bars and clubs and things like that. Bars and clubs. Bars and clubs. So down with the kids. 
I don't care that I'm not down with the kids, okay? Um, but like people are out like going out and just taking selfies in club toilets and why do they do that? You can see the toilets in the background. I think that's so cringy. It's like, I saw one once on Instagram. You could see the pu- there was a girl puking on the toilet. Oh, I was like, why? Uh, but they weren't they, the people taking the photos. Obviously, weren't aware of this. Yeah. It was just like that's awful. Not for a week. <laughs> like you couldn't you couldn't see who it was. Obviously, because her I, back was yeah. but her head was halfway down a toilet. Like um, <laughs> great night. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, everybody's out doing that sort of crack, and I'm just sort of at home. And then I was like, you know what? gonna put on some jams what jam came on first was it was a wee christian worship song and i was like you know what we're just gonna roll with it so i had my own wee night in with with jesus <laughs> make room for jesus when you dance <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's um blasphemous? blasphemous i hope not i mean it in a nice way like you know i'm preaching the good news in a way that people will that reaches the that reaches the masses. The masses. <laughs> <laughs> check your heart. <laughs> Maybe you should check your heart. We're not doing the next one. That's that's childhood memory. That that sort of that's comes at the, at the end. end. Well, I wasn't putting that in order. Oh, okay. Walking when it's cold. You can feel this one, Judith. I Has anyone tweeted? No. No. I don't know why you've. Well, is it just because it's colder now? Yeah, because you go out in the mornings to walk up to the bus and you're freezing and then so you like put on lots of layers and like a warm jacket and then you get up to the top of the road like 10 minutes later and, and you're, you're sweating. sweating and it's just awful. And like, you have to take your scarf off because your neck's sweating. <sighs> like it was okay in summer because it was warm the whole time and you sort of, you were prepared for the warmness if that makes sense. Yeah, you were prepared to sweat. Yeah, whereas like... No, but I think it's bit. worse that you, you start all cold and then you get really, really warm and sweaty and then you're starting to wait for the bus and, and then, then you, you get cold, cold down again. again. Co- cool down again is what I said <laughs> because you interrupted me and I lost track of what I was saying. You get cold again. But yeah, winter's coming, Chloe. Soon it's going to be, it's not even going to be like warm jackets, it's going to be coats and, and boots and... Waterproof trousers. <laughs> <laughs> not even joking, I'm tempted. It is tempting. Although... Over the summer, I discovered the joy that is an umbrella, so... Yeah, true. I'm kind of excited for... I'm not excited for winter. I am kind of excited for winter. Apparently, we're supposed to have a bad winter. Really? Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, four months of, Did like, they not snow. say that last year, too? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They say that every year, and then it's just, like, rain. Yeah. And it's just a wee bit cold. But, like, they can't... They can't they, predict, they can't it, predict it, it so far in advance. Because, like, like even this wee... The heat wave we had in, like, June, July time, they were like, oh, it just last a couple of weeks, and then they were like, yeah, maybe yes. a month. <laughs> Maybe two know. months. <laughs> yeah, no, it's said to stay around for a bit longer, they kept saying, I'm pretty sure. This is our life now. <laughs> <laughs> Accept it, this is what we've done to our planet, thank you. But you never know, it could be, they could be right this year, because I think I think it's more likely this year to be a bad winter. Well, just because we've gone to one extreme in the summer to go to the... Yeah, and even now, even now, the temperature is lower than average. Is so it? It's, yeah. I thought it was just about normal. Well, I know that maybe not like right now, but there was a day or two, a, a day or two at least, and it was lower temperatures. Than maybe it is actually because I know that like other years I've been able to wear shorts all the way up to the end of October. Yeah, but um, so yeah, I think it could be. I think it could happen. I'm gonna say this right now. It's gonna be a bad winter. Okay, I agree. Someone marked Judith's Someone write this down. <laughs> is it the twenty third of September, twenty eighteen. Yeah, Judith has said it's going to be a bad winter. Yeah. It's what all the old, I the old folks say. I haven't it? specified that it's, it's going to be this winter. <laughs> no, it's, it, this winter is going to be a bad winter, but I haven't specified how. It could be very wet, it could be very snowy, it could be just very cold. It could be dry could winter. It could be very windy. Wind, windy. Wind, wind, windy. <laughs> oh, you keep talking over me and then I lose track of what I'm, my words. You talk, and... you talk over me all the time and I never lose track of my words. You're much better at words than me. I can write things. Just we both have an A level in English. We should be decent Shh. enough at words. I know, but that was writing stuff down, not speaking True. words. I didn't speak a lot at school. I don't think I spoke. No, I spoke more at uni than I did at school, but still not, not a lot. lot. I think I definitely spoke more in upper sixth than I did ever. Yeah, but I think I suppose, I, I suppose whenever I went back to school to teach, I probably spoke more. Yeah, there's probably a lot of teachers going. They speak. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, with the staff room, we were just kind of like, we're not meant to be here. Yeah, we just kind of whispered to each other, we don't even go here. <laughs> we don't belong. <laughs> I think one of my favorite, well, 
a thing that makes me smile every time I think about it was Duke of Ed, the very first hike we did. And we were all sitting around. There was about, what, 50 of us? There yeah. was loads. And we were all sitting around at night time. And like, can you stop rocking? You're making me feel dizzy. Sorry. Um, we were all sitting around. You around. keep touching my globe with your butt. <laughs> I'm not. Your globe is over there. I'm touching the corner. Okay. <laughs> but we were sitting around, all of us, around our tents. Um, and everyone was telling really bad jokes. Like puns. Yeah. And then someone, like, started off a joke. And they were, like, sort of pausing before the punchline. And I spoke out the punchline. And then everyone was like, oh, hey, and laughing and stuff. And then me and you just started telling loads of jokes. Yeah. Like, we just sort of took over. And then everyone was like, here, right, don't be offended or anything. But I've never heard you speak. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. And just being like, um, okay. <laughs> that was, what, fourth year? Yeah. Then we went back to school and it was just silence again. I, no, but it was funny because there were people walking up to me in the corridors going like, Here, um, they don't believe me that you were pure talkative in Duke of Ed and I just kind of shrugged at them and didn't say anything. I <laughs> just smiled. And they were like, No, I swear, she was talking. <laughs> I was like, right, cheers. <laughs> but I appreciated that everyone was like, No, you're actually really funny, but like, why do you not speak in school? And I was yeah. just like, Oh. Because everyone at school's stupid. Do you like it? <laughs> As you say to your school classmates. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Next up is Elvis in Poundland. <gasps> I don't know if this is everywhere, right? But in Northern Ireland, or at least in... No, it's in Belfast, Belfast too. too. Yeah. In, in Derry and Belfast. London Pound, Derry. London Derry, Derry, whatever. Um, the the, the Poundland self-checkouts are Elvis. Yeah. It's, it's like, Elvis's voice. And it's, please scan your atoms. <laughs> And if there's an unexpected item in the bagging area, it's suspicious, man. <laughs> it makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> well, it's one for your money, two for your card. <laughs> it's Please take your chains and shake, rattle and, and roll. <laughs> Solid, get yourself to a point land near you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, that's that sort of makes me it gives me a wee giggle every day, every time, every day, <laughs> every day. Yeah. Uh, childhood toys. Oh yeah, we were discussing this on Twitter, um, with our podcaster friends. Hi guys. Um, Hi guys. I just yawned at you. I hope you don't. That things like that make me yawn. Yeah. If I listen to someone yawning in a podcast or whatever, I will yawn. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Sorry if we made you yawn. If Judith made you yawn. I I would get personal offence to that if Judith had made, has made, made you yawn Which, today. Because they have to... I'm in this podcast too. If they take offence, they're not going to listen to it. Well, I mean, you can continue listening. I'll sort of say, Judith's going to speak here now, and then you can just skip it. Skip 15 seconds. Yeah. So, yeah, our old school childhood toys. Before, like, I think the main one we were talking about was the wee turtle... Turtle. turtle. <laughs> Wee turtle. Paddling pool. You're right. I have to put a poll on Twitter, right? How do you say... <laughs> How do I Tortoise. Say? Tortoise. 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 I think I say both. It just sort of depends what kind of mood I'm in. Why? I don't know. Just sometimes it's tortoise. Sometimes nah, it's tortoise, tortoise is just weird. It's tortoise. 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 It sounds really like Southern Irish saying yeah. it. Tortoise. Tor tortoise. Well, I suppose, yeah, I can understand why people would say tortoise. Tortoise sounds like TARDIS. Tortoise. Sounds like you're saying TARDIS in an Irish accent. Tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> so they both sound Irish. Right, hold on. I'm going to make this poll on Twitter. So yeah, childhood toys. We were talking about the, you know, the green um, turtle paddling pool. It was like, uh, it had a lid and the lid was like the turtle's shell. And then the inside, it was like, that's where you put the water or the sand. We always used water. Um, it was really old though. It only had one eye. Yeah. Because our older brothers had pulled it off. So that must be like, I don't know, I'd say 80, I'm going to say 88 it was bought. 88 or like very early 90s. And it was I think still, it's a 90s toy. No, yeah. it's an 80s. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it was still around whenever we were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still at the old house, to be fair. But it was a great wee paddling pool. Um, solid. How yeah. long should I put this pool for? Like 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. No, I'm going to put it for like a day. Okay. Then... We'll have to remember to discuss it next podcast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were discussing that. And like, I remember I, I remember it really well, just like sitting in like summer evenings and then like mum filling it up with cold water. But then the hose water being like way too cold. 
Like it would, like it would literally freeze your feet. Can you please respond in some yeah, way? Yeah, sorry, I was rooting on the pole just to make sure that I got my say in. Um, but like, I remember would... eating chicken nuggets, chicken dippers. But that was on like a wee fold out table and like a wee chairs, a wee tiny deck chairs. Oh, that yeah. wasn't in the paddle and pool, was it not? No, the paddle and pool was beside us because we had been play- we had been playing in it. Oh, good old days. I remember we always used to play with toys in it and then we would have like had cups and like just pouring water over each other. Yeah. Freezing, freezing ourselves. No, that's what I was saying. Mum always used to, like she filled it up with the hose but then she would have gone in and got like a couple of kettlefuls of water. Oh, did she? I don't yeah. remember that. Just to make it like that slight little bit warmer. <laughs> Maybe she didn't even boil the kettle. Maybe she just told us it was boiling. <laughs> just yeah, to make, make us it get warm. into it. <laughs> Because um, it was cold, I remember putting my feet into it at one point and thought that they were literally going to just fall off. Yeah, it was like so cold that it was like painful. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought we just, like, mum just filled it up in the morning and we weren't allowed to play in it until the afternoon after the sun had been shining on it. Yeah, no, but like the backyard was like covered on like four sides, like you only got sun for a week. No, but if you it. put it in like the middle bit where the wee drain mm, was, so it, it got a fair bit of sun. So it did high. <laughs> but yeah. It was, it was good times. And then everybody had like cool swing sets and then there was us and Dad had just built one. Not that Which I'm saying it was bad, really... it was class. Yeah, I and loved it. It's still starting. Like it just had two swings and then the middle Is it, it still had... starting? Is it over Pretty sure. Yeah. Um, it had two swings on either side and then the middle. It used to have a seesaw <gasps> and then it had a rope ladder. Which didn't it didn't lead to anywhere. You just climbed up it and swung on it. Yeah, we used to swing upside down or just yeah. sit in it and half swing. And then what else did it have? One of the wee wooden... Like a wooden swing thing. Oh yeah, we wooden round Cir- circular swing. thing. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it's a good swing set. I really liked it. I thought it was good. I good want a job. swing set again. Good job, Farmer Murray. <laughs> <laughs> he also made us like an actual seesaw, although that was for like an obstacle course. But <gasps> it was class that was a crack. really good seesaw. I remember, like even up until what year did we leave? Like whenever we were in like fifth year. Yeah. Even just sitting out in the evenings, just going on the seesaw. It was, yeah, it was class. It was good. I want it. Is it still a bite? Should be. If not, like I'd say the only thing that needs repaired is like probably the wooden board replaced. Yeah. Oh flip, I remember getting like splinters in my hands because yeah. we would have gone up too fast and then you would have because there was no handle, you were just holding onto a plank of wood. Yeah, because like the original idea behind it was you walked over it. Which we did. Yeah. We could do it. We could just terrify the wedge. But like Um Oh, it's the Northern Irish Freeze of the Week. We didn't do that last time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or did we? No, I don't think we did. Okay, well, it's the Northern Irish Freeze of the Week. Chloe, what is our Northern Irish Freeze of the Week? Queer. Not, not queer. Queer. Q-U-A-R-E. I always thought there was an I in it. Q-U-A-I-R-E then. No, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Queer. It just means, like, great. Some. Queer job. That's some job. Yeah. That's queer weather. That's some weather. It's just... Yeah. You're a queer pop. You're some pop. Ah, it's, it's some... But like in a, an, in a in a good way. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I don't even know. Do English people? <laughs> do, do other people, people say like from... that's some pop? Yeah. That's some job. Because I say that a lot now. Is what I've realised. Even whenever I'm typing, I'm like, oh, some job. Hi. Just cause... you can use the wee hi after. You have to put the hi in. Um. Yeah. No, I say some job. Hi. I don't think other people do that. Yeah. We just add extra. Extra words, to extra everything. words. Like other other people would go, oh, that's a good job, just some job. I suppose that's sort of the same amount of words, really, because that's a good job, some job. Hey, you're looking, Hi. you're you're going too deep into this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's that's our word. If you can if you can use it in a sentence, please tell us. Let us know. Listen to the reaction you got to. Yeah. Just text someone and just go queer job. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> if you're meeting up with someone, just. <laughs> yeah, we're meeting. Hi, we're meeting there. Right, queer job, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would work as well as on text. Why? I think people would just think, like, you meant to say, like, great or something, and it autocorrected. Maybe. I don't know, I think it's worth a try. And then, like, like maybe people will say, is that autocorrect? And you'll be like, no, I meant it. And then it would be like, all right, okay. what? Um, yeah. So that's our Northern Irish phrase of the word. Like, yep. Next one we have is youths. 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 They scare me. Yeah. I think they always scared me though, like whenever I was growing up it was always like older teenagers and stuff that scared me and then I became an older teenager and then it was the younger ones that scared me and now I'm in my 20s, it's just all teenagers scare me. <laughs> I think it's just whenever they're in big groups because it's kind of like you're just one person and like you know <laughs> if you're with me as well it's just two people and like 
I don't know, just, like, yeah, it kind, kind of freaks me out. I don't know. We get the bus um, home and it's usually full to, full, full of, like... Full to the brim of school people. Yeah. And I always feel really intimidated because <laughs> it's like all these school children and then me and you yeah. <laughs> just kind of sitting there. But, oh, I don't know. Maybe it was just like the way we, like, we were, we got the bus whenever we were at school. But like, if there was someone in non-uniform and you knew they weren't like... At, at tech school. or at college or whatever, you would have let them on the bus first to give them a seat. And like, especially like an old person, but I don't know how many times I've seen at the bus station in town that like, just they barge to try and get on the bus and they don't bother. Like I remember, I, I saw a wee old lady and she was probably getting squished. Yeah. Oh, cause that's pure noise. And I was like, they have security now. Yeah. And like she was probably getting squished, and all she was trying to do was get on the bus. But it was just all these like kids just trying to get on in front of her just to get a seat next to their friend. And I was yeah. like, just, like why would you do that? I don't yeah. know. It's 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 lazy. Like, but I can't speak for like all all like young people because like there's some nice people. It always makes me happy whenever people whenever like young people apologize, like and they're like, oh sorry. Like I'm always like, yes, thank you, thank you for that. Um, like just, cause I'm like, yes, you are a well-raised child. Yeah. But then if someone like, if like a child like that sort of went, here, do you want to go on first in front of me? I would say no. Yeah, I'd be like, no, go on ahead. It's fine. Just because they're being nice. and like, oh, I don't know. They do kind of scare me though. They're really like, I think young people are getting really obnoxious now. <laughs> like just really loud and just really shouty. And it just, it... <sighs> why are they so noisy? I think it's just like, but I even heard ones on the bus, like, going, first years are, like, so rude. And it's like, yeah, yeah, they are. But also, you're not, you're not too, you know, you're not, you're not having... great yourself. <laughs> I saw you push that person off the chair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know, I'm just generally intimidated by them, so it makes me not like I them. think I'm just intimidated by everyone. I'm intimidated by old people, because I'm like, you're so wise. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I'd love to hear you talk to an old person like that. I just freak out. <laughs> Hello? How are you? I've just realised, whenever you said that, I've just realised that's how I say hello to every, like, older person. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> just like, I'm really surprised that they're there. Just, hello? <laughs> sometimes you do, like, sometimes, oh, I'm guilty of it too. Like, at church or whatever, you talk to somebody, oh, okay, hello, how are you? And it's just sort of like, I don't remember your name. <laughs> <laughs> Your hands are really warm. Can Your hands are that? really cold. Really nice. I do that all the time. Like someone will start talking to me. Like, oh, hello, how are you? And then someone will walk past and be like, "Hi, Rita." And I'm like, "Rita, <laughs> <laughs> how are you?" My name's Marjorie. Rita's over there. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I never use names anyway, just to, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> yeah, and then Mum's like, "Oh, I saw you having a nice chat to Ethel today," and it's like. Oh, that who that was, right? Okay, <laughs> I will remember that name oh, next you... Sunday. It's like, who was that woman I was talking to last week again? Ethel. I right her. So I was gonna someone say, or someone. You'd be like, so who are you were chatting to today? Loads of people. Like who? Don't know. <laughs> so there was a man with a mustache. Oh right, okay, Arthur. I. <laughs> or it might have been such and such a person. Could have been. <laughs> I have no idea. But I'm so, so bad with names anyway. Like, even whenever we were teaching and stuff, um, I could never remember the names. And I would have been like, okay, period three, um, like, this this class, right? And then, like, Mr. Rob, the teacher, would have been going around being like, Rory, you answer this question. And then Rory would have spoken and been like, right, Rory's in the front room. Rory's in the front. I'm going to remember that next time. And then I came back and I was like, is Rory in this class? Where was he sitting? I don't know. I'm okay with names. I'm like, so I bad. think I'm just bad at it because like like people, normal people, can like associate names with faces. Mm -hmm. Whereas we have to associate like names with like voices or clothing or Which height is really or annoying when they're all wearing school uniform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like because I knew that in school I would have been able to like I would have been able to say like Rory shut up. But yeah. like whenever it came to like asking Rory a question, I'd be like, where the flips Rory? <laughs> Which one of your children is Rory? 
I would have picked on like certain names and then like been holding a page or something and then like looked at the page and sort of been like, Rory, you answer this one. Like not looking at anywhere in particular so that I wasn't looking at the opposite side of the class yeah. and going, Rory. And then we do the, oh. and then we, <laughs> then we did the always did the thing just like, that's the correct answer there, Rory. Pick someone else in the class. <laughs> That is such a cop out by all teachers and it is great. I am so proud if you ever thought that up. <laughs> or else you use Dr. Bogle's old method and just like chuck like a balloon or a ball or something around the room. Or oh, dice. That gave me so much anxiety whenever that happened, whenever we were in school. And they had to chuck the ball around because I was like, please don't pick me because I'm not going to catch it. I'm going to make an absolute fool of myself. I'm going to drop it and it's going to roll across the floor and I'm going to have to chase it. And oh my word, please no. <laughs> So many things in school gave me anxiety just because I couldn't see. Such a nervous child. I always just going I into just the canteen like, and hearing someone shout your name and you're like, is that actually me they're shouting for? I don't even know where they are. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> That's why I went for packed lunch all the time because I was like, then I can just like eat in the library or eat in the corridor and just like hide. I always... Or else whenever teachers shouted down the corridor and went, you! And you're like, me? Oh, I never turned around. Like, I well, never did either. By the by, about maybe six year, I think I was just like, if they don't know by now that I'm not going to see them, then you know, it's their fault. <laughs> Who was it in my upper sixth? They still didn't know we couldn't see. It was a teacher? I can't remember. Because they took us. They like they were a substitute teacher for a class, and they All were right. like, we were supposed to get like handouts of the notes or something like that, and we were like, um, are we not supposed to get handouts? Like, why do you think you're special? And we were sort of like. We can't because we can't we can't see we can't see it. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> it was in GCSE as well, and I had like I had come into the class at the start of the year, and I was like, right, I'm gonna get myself seated at the front, because then I'll be able to see the board. Sat at the front, right? That was fine. Okay, we've got a seating plan, Chloe. You're back here, and I was sort of like, it was French. That's what it was, and it was like every month everybody moved. Like four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, and then it was like the next month, or that's what it was. It was the next month, and I was sitting at the front the first month, and I was like, "This is great. This is fantastic." Got shifted to the back. Of course, me fourth year me, being too quiet to say anything, just struggled for a good week at the back. <laughs> and then I constantly got told off because I was copying off the guy beside me, who was really nice and had like let me borrow his notes. Aww. And then eventually the teacher was like, "Chloe, stop copying his work." And I was like, but "Miss, I can't see the board." Oh no, it wasn't even me that said it. it was him. He was like. Miss Chloe's too far back. She can't see the board. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I can't even remember who it was. I know it was a boy. Um, Ooh, a boy. <laughs> I can't even remember his name. That's how, that's how much of an impression he made. Um, but yeah. I think one of my proudest moments in French, I think it was, it must have been third year. Um, I think, yeah, my proudest moment was there was a boy who was the most annoying person on the planet. Um, and he was sitting like the he, he the, how would you describe it the the it was like a horseshoe the the desk were like a horseshoe but then there was like ones in the middle as well all right yeah um, it's not history no um and he sat in the middle and I sat on the outside and he always copied my work so I like it was like a listening test or something and I sort of half memorized the answers because it was just A B C kind mm -hmm. of thing. And then I wrote down the wrong answers and then I sort of slid my book over so he could see and I was like, yeah, go on ahead. And then um, he scribbled them all down and looked pure smug and then I went back and changed them all. And then he got in so much trouble. No, he got in trouble first for copying. And then she checked his answers and was like, Alex, if you were copying, you could have at least copied the right answers. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> just, just said his name. Oops. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that, but whatever. Or you could have just like smoothly ran over that. Yeah, Alex, that's the name we're going to give him. <laughs> Well, I didn't. I'm not smooth, okay? <laughs> I'm not at all smooth. Speaking about copying, I remember I got told off for copying. That's my geography. favourite story because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I was a geography teacher in GCSE and we did a test and there was a boy beside me and he always copied my answers. And there was one day and he copied my answers and um, it was like the next day whenever the results were being ha handed back and it was like, you two stay behind after class. I was sort of like, right, okay. And we stayed behind. It was like, Chloe... Why did you copy such and such? And I was like, first of all, you're the qu you were like the quietest person ever. Like, why would they use such you a of copying? <laughs> such a good girl. And it was because he had said first he was like, oh, she copied me. She's been copying me like all year, stuff like that. Because like he wasn't stupid. Yeah, if that makes sense. Like he acted like a fool, but he was actually sort of fairly clever. I was able to keep up with the work. Yeah, 
Um, like he never had it in homeworks and stuff, but whenever he came to tests and stuff, like he did all right. He did all right because I made sure that like most of the time he didn't copy me. It was just one particular time I didn't have a pencil case or anything to cover my work. Um, but yeah, I got held behind and then he got let go because it was like, right, you can go on. Chloe, I want to speak to you because this is not on. And I was sort of like, right. So it was just me and the teacher in the classroom. She's like, so why did you copy? And I was like, miss, hold on. <laughs> Do you see how close I have to look at my books? I'd have been crying by that point. <laughs> I was, I was like, like, oh, I don't know, I was just frustrated. I think because like, it was at the start of class that she was like, see me after class. And it was a double period and I was sort of like, oh, right. And I had sort of like, I had worked it up in my head how I was going to explain it. Mm -hmm. So I was sort of, I was like, <laughs> I was annoyed at the start. Like I was literally like gripping a pen so hard that my knuckles went white and just like the tears were like stinging my eyes. Because I was just so annoyed. But by, like, by the end, I was just like, no, right, okay, look, this is how I'm going to explain it. It's going to be fine. I'm not going to be late for physics. <laughs> so I went up and was like, do you, see, do you know how close I have to look at my books? And she was like, yes. And I was like, so you really expect me to be able to see his answers from where I'm sitting? And she just went quiet. <laughs> and I remember that just in my head, just like proper fireworks going off, just like, I have won this. <laughs> And she was like, right, that's fair enough, Chloe, away you go, and we'll get such and such in. I definitely think you should have been like, I expect a full apolo full and formal apology oh, tomorrow. I wish I, I did. I wish I did. Because, like, no one forgot that. I was like, oh, don't, don't, like, don't let Chloe see your work, she'll only copy it. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> oh, what, so people actually still believed it? Or? Yeah, well, they did until, like, the next day whenever the other guy got, like, called in and it was like... Like, the teacher explained to him, I think. Like, do you think you're being stupid? Like, she's not going to be able to I see you copy it. Do you think you're being like... smart, surely? But... <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but, yeah. Good but... times, good times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever got accused of um, copying anyone's work. So, um, I'm good. I don't think I ever did copy anyone's work, so it's fine. Well, I mean, I couldn't, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, homeworks and stuff. <laughs> I think we copied each other. We sort of helped each other at times. Oh, the truth is out. <laughs> but we, no, but to be fair, we did it in a good way. <laughs> Like, if we were doing English homework, whatever, you would do question one, I would do question two, you'd do question three, and we wouldn't copy it word for word. He would say, like, once upon a time, and I was like, there once was. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that subtle change, and I don't think we ever got found out for that either. No. Or else if we did, it was just, we're twins, it's... we sort of think the same way, yeah. can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back quiet, they were probably just like, oh, sure, they're probably working together, and they got, they got the answers right anyway. I remember the horrifying time we swapped seats in French <laughs> and I hated reading out loud in French because I was so, so bad at it. <gasps> and, I, and, the, and we swapped seats and it was like, Judith, you read out this one. And I like, I, I jumped, like we sat beside each other, so it wasn't like hugely dramatic that we had swapped places, but I jumped and you just whispered and you were like, it's me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was so that funny. Time. Just you freaking out and me going like, shut up, it's fine. <laughs> It's really funny. But I think the best... Have we talked about this before? I'll pretend to switch places. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. If we haven't, then let's revisit that. <laughs> we we pretended to swap places. Um, and we like convinced our class. Like, every time they would have been like, Here, Judith, I would have been like, mm. Oh, sorry, yeah, me, what? <laughs> Definitely Judith. <laughs> and they were like, oh, They swap places, they swap places. And I was like, uh, No, we haven't. <laughs> Like, acting from first year yeah it was oh it was so good i loved that that was the best because you couldn't get in trouble it was just them like accusing you it was, yeah. oh, it was so good <laughs> we were wearing like a right uniform everything was labeled you know this this says chloe it's my tie but it was like what so are you gonna do you fingerprint me <laughs> because <laughs> twins fingerprints are the same are they not are they not no or, i thought they are they're slightly they different are they not oh. well how come i can't open your phone then I don't know, wear and tear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, it was that was fun. I was I I wish we'd done that more. To yeah. be honest, it was the hesitation when you walked in, go and like look like open it. I I opened my file and like looked and was like right okay here. And I sat down and then any time anyone walked in, I was like all right hey, <laughs> just watching everybody. <laughs> You're in my class. <laughs> looked at the person who sat down beside you. You sat beside me. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just this like the momentary pause anytime the teacher called your name it was yeah. Judith yes <laughs> here 
Oh, it was good. So good. <laughs> um, <gasps> this day last year. Right, this is the next thing. Almost the last thing on the list. This yeah. day last year, we got the bus. As we usually do. It was just like any other day. Except when we got to... Uh, oh, I can't even remember the, where it was. The next village we were, basically. Yeah, whatever. Um, a man got on. He was really well-dressed. He was, like, proper, like... Suit and tie. Suit and tie. And I'd say he was probably a consultant or something. Like, he looked yeah. like a fancy doctor kind of dude. Um, he, had a, he had a magnificent beard, I have to say. It was <laughs> incredible. So many shades of grey. Anyway. <laughs> Would you say... <laughs> 50 shades of grey today. <laughs> Definitely more than 50. <laughs> but um, he sat down, he had this big massive, massive backpack on and he sat down and he, to be honest, he looked quite grumpy. I'm not gonna lie. But he sat down and he put the backpack on the floor and everyone's kind of like... And no, he put it down really gently and yeah. everybody was sort of like... Because <laughs> it's Northern Ireland and whenever you put anything down gently, <laughs> everyone worries. <laughs> um, but then everyone was kind of like, right, okay, cool, right, hey, hey dude. And then he unzipped the top and everyone was kind of like, oh, okay, what are you doing? Well, I don't know if everybody was, but I know I was. <laughs> um, you weren't even subtle about it. I was just full on staring like, what is going on? What's that? And then I popped a wee dog's head. I was like, ah! I think he... <laughs> he definitely knew he definitely you were looking. He I was watching. And then he was just petting the dog and he was just, oh, good girl, good girl. And I was looking at Chloe going, can I ask him what the name of the dog is? Can I ask him what the dog is called? Can I ask him? I was like, yeah, go on ahead. I was like, no, I'm too scared. And then someone else was like, oh, that's such a nice dog. So then I chimed in and I was like, yeah, I'm so well behaved. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, she's called Twinkle. And I was like, Twinkle. Oh, I'm so cute. <laughs> but I got a picture, right? And <laughs> I remember this picture. I was like, do you know what she was I being pure being pure skinny. Skinny. But if you look at the picture, he's staring straight at the camera. Like, I mean, looking into your soul. Like, he's full on staring. <laughs> I just wanted a picture of your dog, sir. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I think, <laughs> or at least I hope everybody can tell that Judith was, this was like the peak of Judith's life. <laughs> so good. Everything was downhill. Since then, there moment. have been three other dogs on the bus, right? One of them was a Jack Russell, and it wasn't even in a like a bag or a box or anything. They, they were did, just they did, it. they did have to pay a child's fare for it though. <laughs> I think by hide, him hiding the dog in the bag he got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was oh it was it was a good day. <gasps> and then the puppy that they they called the puppy, that dog. What? And they had just bought a puppy on the way home. <gasps> yes, it was cute. And it was all scared. Did I get to pet that one? I don't think so. I got to pet Twinkle, so that was good. <laughs> Twinkle's such a great name for a dog. But he was like a big guy with a beard and I was like, Twinkle. You got bet you have kids and they named it. <laughs> Twinkle. Such a cute wee dog. If you had it, you'd call it Manhole. <laughs> Kitten called Manhole. Light bulb. Light bulb. Sprocket. Sprocket's a good name for a dog, yeah. I think. Yeah. Sprocket like a rocket. You just ruined it. <laughs> I just Sprocket was a good name. Do you know if you know what time it's? Time it is. Um, it's about uh, ten to four. It's um, it's time for your childhood story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, right. Can I just say we have one word written on this whiteboard of what it's about. Um, one word. No, they have to guess the word. Okay. Uh, so now is your time to guess. Tweet us, and then whenever you get to the end of the podcast, you can reply to your tweet and be like, "Oh, I was wrong," or "Oh, I was right." Um, no one's gonna do that. No one tweets. No one interacts with this. It's kind of sad. Anyway, point being, this story was brought about like we were, we were reminded about it because the other night I was closing my window and my window is an old window so you have to like push push it up and pull it, you pull it down to open it and then you push it up to close it does that make sense yeah um so I have to climb on top of a small chest of drawers onto a big chest of drawers in order to reach it to push it closed because it's a big window it's big it's tall excuse me it's like I have a very I tall say, room I was gonna say floor to ceiling but it's more like knee height to ceiling <laughs> For a normal sized room, it would be no near enough floor to ceiling yeah. though, because my roof's really, really high. Um, I think my room's actually taller than it is wide. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so I was climbing up. It was about, it must have been about two o'clock in the morning because I normally keep my window open because it's summer and it was warm. Um, but then the sheep were in the field outside my window and it got a bit cold actually. So I got up and I pushed it closed and then I went to step down off the big chest of drawers onto the small one and my foot slipped 
and down I went. <laughs> And I landed on the small chest of drawers and I got a big bruise on the back of my leg. Quite near her butt. Just below my butt cheek. And then I fell off that and stumbled into my bed and got a massive bruise on my ankle then too. And I just kind of, I jumped onto my bed and just kind of lay there going, my leg! Because <laughs> it was like full on like dead leg feeling like, <laughs> it was so bad. But anyway, then I was chatting to Chloe and I was like, do I have a bruise? And of course Chloe had to check for a bruise. And then I was like, you know what this reminds me of? That time, with Barbie. <laughs> Chloe, would you like to set the scene here? Okay, so, old house, we shared a room. Bunk beds. There was a toy box just at the bottom of the bunk beds. Not, like, at the end of the bunk beds, but, like... At the side. At the side. And, uh, normally it had a lid. Yeah, it was like a little house. Yeah, it was like a little roof. It was like, that's what the lid looked like. But... This particular night we didn't put the lid on because we had just shoved everything into it. Flashbacks. <laughs> and usually before we went to bed, like we used to swap between who was on the top and who was not the really. Bank, but I think eventually, eventually it just, just ended up just me and you, like me and you the top were on the top, and you were on. But anyway, so Judith used to stand on the side and just like lean over, and we used to chat or like whatever, or just like poke each other. Yeah, so I would have been standing on the side holding on to the bars at the top, and Chloe said something really funny, and we were both laughing. And like, like that time. And if you're laughing so hard and you just go weak. <laughs> I was like, Louise, stop, I can't stop laughing. And then my arms were weak and I let go and I fell in the toy box. <laughs> and uh, we said we just shoved everything into the toy box. <laughs> Barbie's legs just so happened to be sticking out. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't go anywhere. <laughs> my butt cheek just landed straight on Barbie's legs. It was so bad. <laughs> but I was still laughing. Right. It was one of those times where you don't know whether to laugh or cry. It was that kind of pain. You couldn't sit down for like a week. I genuinely couldn't. Remember at school, you sit and like you perched awkwardly sideways on the chair. <laughs> and my friend that I sat beside asked me and I was like, I fell off the bed and I hurt my bum. <laughs> this probably isn't funny. There's someone probably listening to this just like in complete silence, just sort of going... It's not even funny. But it was at the time, okay, guys? And Barbie's it's... legs causing a massive bruise on your bum cheek is really bad. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Do you have any stories like that? We could anon anonymify you and tell them. The word was Barbie. <laughs> Just, oh, you know. I mean, you did start it with Barbie. Yeah, I did. Fair. Fair yeah. enough. But yeah, I'm get, gonna yawn again. Please get in touch um, <sighs> in any way possible. Maybe if you see us in the street. Remember, we won't be able to see you, but you know, throw something at us. Preferably not food. Something soft. Yeah, like a sponge, not a brick, unless it's a foam brick. <laughs> I don't know. Just you know, say say hey. Yeah, if you want to, that'd be nice. No, it wouldn't. I think I would freak out. I'd be like, all right, hey, where are you going? Okay, bye. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, um, I don't think I'd be very good if people were like, I've seen you, like, on YouTube. I get so embarrassed whenever people say that. They're like, I watched, I love your YouTube videos. I'm like, oh, jeepers. Yeah. <laughs> I almost apologise. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry you had to watch that. Um. Oh, yeah. Can I just say, um, in our latest video with, like, I think it's like the news at a clock. Um, yes, we're in a shower because I think that's the most asked thing. Yeah. It's not. It's like, oh, really funny video. Were you in the shower? <laughs> yes, yes, we were. There was no particular reason for it other than I was like, let, I'll stop in the shower just for funny. <laughs> just for funny. <laughs> um, we do have a congratulations. That has, we have just become aware of it during this podcast. Yeah. She's pure cute. She's never going to listen to it, but you know, whatever. We're Fine. putting it out there anyway, but congrats to Greg James and Bella James. Except his... Her name isn't actually James, yeah, it's, it's like Mil 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 Millward. Milford. Mil Millard. Mm. Greg and Bella, congrats. Yeah, on the marriage thing. Saying I do. Yeah. It's... Bella, you're stuck. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Did you get a divorce? Don't get a divorce though, because that's really sad. Try and work through it. <laughs> Just stop talking. <laughs> Just hold hands. Can... Smile. <gasps> no! You know what? I think like the... like. I think the main point of a relationship is, and it's what mum and dad do whenever they're taking selfies. Teamwork. Teamwork. 
Teamwork makes the dream work. Dad holds the camera whenever he's taking selfies and mommy mom, presses, mom the, presses button. the button to take the picture. I think that's so cute. <laughs> it's like a human selfie stick. They get the best <laughs> selfies though. They They're are incredible really good. selfies. <laughs> but yeah, congrats Greg and Bella. Uh, remember to work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. I mean, Greg has long arms. He's got to be great at selfies. Yeah. I'm really bad because I have short arms. I mean, and I can't see the phone whenever I hold it away yeah, from me. So I was gonna say, I always feel really awkward. Like if I'm if I ever meet a celebrity, like people are like, "Oh, can I get a selfie?" I would be like, "Can I get a selfie?" By the way, can you take it because I can't see. That's why I don't like. Um, whenever we met Greg and Chris, we didn't really get any pictures with them. But that's yeah. because I don't I I can't ask because otherwise I'll have to be like, "Can we get can we, can I can I get a picture? Can I get a selfie?" And then they'll be like, "Yeah, sure." And I'll be like, "Can you take it?" And they'll be like, "Um." <laughs> Yeah, and like, it's one of those things where you don't want to explain that you have a visual impairment because, yeah. like, well, this is for, a whole for, other podcast. Yeah, but... like, firstly, like, you've already met them, and like, by that, like, by the time it came to sort of like asking about photos, we'd spent like maybe an hour with them. Yeah, it's kind of like, don't want to bring it up now and just be like, oh, by the way, we just spent an hour together. Did you realize? Can't see. <laughs> I couldn't see across. I could see you across the desk, but I couldn't see if you were looking at me, if you were smiling, if you were crying. Or I think that's something I need to do more though. I need to like meet celebrities and just be like, oh hey, I'm blind. <laughs> but see, you have to sort of try and fit it into the conversation. I don't think you can just be like, oh hey, nice to meet you. By the way, I have a visual impairment. I can just like, about see your really, face. Yeah, like really, I should sort of be like, we, we, like I think both of us need to be more confident and ask for selfies, but sort of be like, oh can I get a selfie? But it's, as long as you don't mind taking it, because I can't see. Yeah. Like, Although I even, we're together. Even, say, even saying that, I kind of like sort of choked my words. I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> it's just real. Although I suppose to be fair, we we usually go together, so it can be like, oh, I'll take a picture of you, and you take a picture of me. But then yeah. if they go, oh yeah, do you want to get a selfie? I'm I'm not like. Normally, even with friends and stuff, it's like, oh no, you, just, you never take the picture, you take the selfie. I'm like, no, I'm I'm so bad at taking selfies. No, but to be I'm fair, so sometimes never, I'm taking selfies or whatever, and with her friends, her friends are like, no, Chloe, to the left a bit. Yeah, to the oh, right. I love that so much. Up a bit, up a bit. The purest there. people. The purest <laughs> like, people. Great. Or else you. just, Chloe, you're not in it, you need to tilt your hand a bit. And yeah. you're like, this way? And it's like, no, 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 the other way. Yeah, that's us now, right? Okay. <laughs> it's like, thank you. Chloe, you just press the like. <laughs> You just you just moved it to video. You didn't take the picture because <laughs> that happens a lot. But anyway, I think the most embarrassing thing that happened to me was, Judith, you're not on selfie mode. <laughs> <laughs> I think since then I've been like, I'm never taking a selfie again. I'm never volunteering for this. I hate that though because all the selfies we have, I'm at the front because I have to take it. <laughs> you're so great at it, even though you can't see it. You're so great. <laughs> At least you get our faces in it. I took a picture of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was a sunny day. <laughs> I have done that before too, just me and you. It's like, oh, let's get a selfie. Yes, that's the road. Okay, I need to flip it around. <laughs> let's go again. But anyway, yeah, thank you very much for listening again. Um, please, please, please share. get in contact. <laughs> yeah, please share this and leave it a like or a rating or review. Whatever. Whatever, Share it. whatever you can do on whatever social media slash podcast platform you please vote to on the poll if you're listening to this within the next today, week within the next day okay if it's after the 24th of September there's no point in voting well yeah the vote won't be there um hold on I'm gonna check it here now um but yeah uh that would be on Twitter on oh, skit on, we have two notifications underscore on twins skit twins hold on we um, have three ins- votes and an Instagram on skit underscore twins um, or under slash, because that's, that's the better way of saying it, skit under slash twins, um, because you're just too busy to correct me. No, yeah, underscore. <laughs> uh, we have three votes, one of them is me, but uh, the, all three votes I haven't are, for, voted. are for tortoise. Tortoise, not for tortoise. Yeah, and we have a question that is, if you became a weather girl, what would your catchphrase be? I think I would just stay Franks and be take care, be good. No, go well. I think mine would just be be well. Be well. Cheers, thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck, bye-bye. Maybe that'll be it, I don't know. Who asked that? We give them a wee shout out. Oh, um... I don't know, I've gone off it. Oh. Well, thank you for your question. Sorry that Judith can't give you a wee shout out. Yeah, I'm name. sorry. Thank you. Um, yeah, take care, be good. Go well. Be well. Good luck, bye-bye. Yeah. See you in, like, two weeks. Well, we won't see you, but you know what I mean, anyway. So, thanks. Oh, it's changed.